Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the particle system in Unity. So, let's begin. Now, you need to know this. Particles take a big role in game development. You can take a very boring scene like this one and transform it into something like this. It's pretty cool. So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this exact effect. So, let's begin. So the first thing you want to do is to bring the particle system onto your hierarchy. So go to effects and look for particle system. Here you can see a preview of your effect and in the bottom right you will have the options of restarting and playing the effect. If you select the component particle system in your game object you will be able to see a renderer. Then you want to go ahead and change the particle to the sprite default. Now we need to change the shape of the emission because we don't want the emission going from bottom to top, expanding. We want it to go like a sphere. So let's go ahead and change it to a sphere. Now we want to go under emissions and change the burst. Just add a single burst and you can see the default settings are perfect for our project. Now I'm going to change the duration of the particles to 0.3 because that's just perfect for what we need because we need these particles to disappear. Also make sure that you disable looping because we only want this to play on awake once. Now we want to change the start size of these particles because we don't want them to be that big so I'm going to change it to 0.3. Now we need to fix the error that the particles are not getting smaller by the time so it looks like they are clearly disappearing. So in the components let's check size over lifetime and change the curve to be in our favor, that means being from top to bottom. This gives us another problem, that the particles are not actually disappearing on time, that means we need the end point of the curve to be closer to the starting point. So for the last stretch we need to connect the player with the particle so that when the player moves the particle emits. We will need to code. So the first thing you want to do is to create the prefab of the particle. So let's rename it and go ahead and drag it out into our project and delete the remains in the hierarchy. Now we need to go ahead and open a script in Visual Studios which is our player controller and then we want to declare a variable, a public variable which type is a game object so that we can connect that to the particle. And then we want to instantiate this particle so just write in. in then we need to instantiate this particle so let's go ahead and call the instantiate command add the particle because it's part of the game object particle add transform the position as its position and continue on the identity because it has no rotation you want to add this command everywhere where your player is detected with movement so i have some if statements that help me do this so i'm just gonna add one in each if statement so when we come back to Unity, we can see that now we have to drag the particle game object onto the empty game object that is present in the script file. And after that, we are totally done. This is the final result. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and comment down below what would you like to do next. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we are going to be uploading a lot of content related to Unity programming. So anyways guys, goodbye.